Are you tired of bank transfer fees and low interest rates? Well, say hello to GoTime Bank. GoTime Bank offers interest rates 50 times higher than traditional banks and offers three free bank transfers to other banks per week. With GoTime Bank, you can make quick and easy transfers to other banks. Plus, enjoy higher interest rates of 3% per year on your savings. No minimum account, no deposit caps, and no need to complete tasks or any kind of missions. As a Gokong Wei Group Bank, you can trust GoTime Bank to keep your money safe and secure. Download the GoTime Bank app today and experience the next level of banking, or you may visit www.gotime.com.ph for more details. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, small conversations with huge impact now exclusively on spotify powered by spotify for podcasters and welcome to the show if you are listening to the show for the first time <laughs> that kind of sounded like um <laughs> a little bit theatric but anyway welcome to the show if this is your first time listening to the show then i hope that you enjoy this episode please if you enjoy this one go ahead and check out the other amazing episodes that we have here and uh, make sure that you share it to your friends because apparently the podcast is growing because of you guys, because of the new listeners out there. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope that you love this one. If you are an avid listener of the show, welcome back. I'm happy that you're still growing, still committed. And just uh, I know that you're binge watching all the, <laughs> the episodes here. I just really want to appreciate you. And so for this episode, I want to talk about um, what I think is the main difference of people living a fruitful life, a purposeful life versus those who are not. And I came upon this realization mainly um, because I, um, I woke up earlier late by the world standard. So I woke up around 10 a.m. So that was really, really late. No? And I have been talking about 5 a.m. club, 6 a.m. club, and all of these, you know, wake up early, the early bird gets the early worm, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, um, I intentionally said that I would want to wake up later than usual, so I'll wake up any time that I want. And then I woke up earlier, no, people would say that it's late, but for me, it's just that was my choice, and I didn't feel bad. How many of you guys, um, when you wake up and you didn't wake up at the, the time that you said you would wake up, or you hit that snooze button? After that, you feel so much guilt, so much shame. I'll, I'll be talking about this, also deep diving on this on another podcast episode. But like, how many of you just felt bad because you didn't wake up when you said you would wake up? A lot, probably, okay? And if you're one of those people, then uh, most chances are um, you're kind of, there, there's, a, there's an expectation from what you should do in life. And that's okay. That's good, okay? But at the same time, I didn't feel bad because I woke up at 10 o'clock. And I could compare that to the other days that I woke up before in the past where I felt bad around me around waking up at that time because, you know, from those areas or those times, it was something unintentional, okay? But earlier, the main difference why I felt good waking up at 10 a.m. is because it was intentional. And so one thing that I have learned that the main difference between a life that is purposeful, a life that is meaningful, is... And this is the only way. There's no other way to do it. Is if you live an intentional life. If you live a life where you choose to do things. Now, I know a lot of people here might be listening. You're, you're studying in school. You're working in a workplace. And you're being set by, um, you know, Vishen Lakiani says, uh, calls this the rules, the bullshit rules. Sorry for the term, but... Um, these are what society is imposing us, um, you know, and uh, 
I've, I've been a misfit. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I hated rules. I hated structure for a very long time, but for a good reason, okay? Number one is I don't like being told what how I live my life. That, that's just it. I don't like being told how to live my life. Like if people say that you should get a job, no, why should I get a job, right? Have you ever thought about that? Okay, you said, okay, you should get married by the, why? You should build a family, why? Instead of just following them, which 95% of um, human beings do. I don't, I'm not like that. Sorry, I'm not like that. But if you're here, probably you're not like that as well. You're looking for something else out there. You know that there's something else out there. You're just not sure what it is. And I could tell you, whatever asks, uh, whatever questions you have, if you're, is, here's the thing, you know, a lot of people also telling me, you know, I, I'm in a mid, midlife crisis, a quarter life crisis. I've never experienced that. But to be honest, I've never experienced that. I studied engineering for like seven years, but I still f didn't feel like I was lost or confused or having a midlife or quarter life crisis. I simply didn't feel that. And you want to know why? Because at the age of 20, I understood what it meant to live a life of intentional, of being intentional. Meaning, I decide. I get to choose. I, I say no to a life that is, um, you know, imposed by other people, by uh, you know, other people setting it, our parents, your workplace. I don't like that. And I'm not like that. If you're, and if you want to take back the power, okay, if you want to shift your life from a life that is waiting, from a life that is choosing, all you got to do is become intentional. Be intentional with your life. You are the writer. You are the director. You are the actor. You are the, screen, the screenplay writer. You're the videographer. You're everything. Okay, but more importantly, you are the writer of your life. If you don't like the script, then change it. It's that simple. All of the reasons that your mind is telling you is what we call the, the rules, you know, the bullshit rules that society has told you. That's not how to live life. You can live life by being intentional. Okay, and so how do you live a life that is intentional? There are three ways that I feel that right now can help you getting back your life or taking back your life by living life intentionally. The first one is you got to define what an intentional look, uh, life looks like by defining your values and your purpose. A lot of people aren't going to ask, well, I don't know what my purpose is. Well, you know your purpose. If you're lost and you're confused, and then maybe your purpose is to experiment and to try. Maybe your purpose is asking questions, talking to mentor, networking, going out, experimenting, trying. Maybe that's your purpose. Your purpose changes from time to time, but accept that your purpose right now is, is where you are um, currently. Okay? But the more important question is, are you defining your values? Meaning, what are your non-negotiables? It's so easy to make a decision if you know your values. It's so easy to make a decision if you know what are your non-negotiables. So for me, when I was starting, even when I was 20 years old, my three top values are growth, adventure, and fun. And let me tell you, my, my five years from that point on was pure growth, pure adventure, and pure fun. Okay, I decide. People would say, oh, no, you're, you're not, you're not um, following the rules. You're not following the structure. Well, I, I'm not. I'm intentionally not following the structure. Not because I'm taking revenge or I hate it, but because I know my values. And I may not be perf living, per uh, living a perfect life, but I'd rather make, but who does? <laughs> Let's be honest. Who here? lives a perfect life. If we all live an imperfect life, then might as well choose an intentional life. So that's the first one. You got to have a clear sense of where you want to be. 
so you can start making choices that are aligned with your goals. It's easy. Whatever your goal is, for example, you want to earn 100,000 pesos per month or maybe 1 million per month, it's easy. You just got to say yes to the things that are aligned to it. And you got to say no to the things that are not. You got to start doing the things that will help you do that. We all know how to get a six-pack abs, but we're not just doing it. Maybe because we don't know why we're doing it. We don't know what's the value of that goal, of that choice. Okay, so you got to define your goals and your values. The second one, okay, I've already said uh, this before, but I'm going to talk about this in another podcast. Um, this tool that I'm going to share with you is really life-changing, okay? The second way to live intentionally is to clear things out. As I said, you got to say yes to the things that are aligned with your goals and your values, and you got to say no to the things that are not. And one of the biggest ways to say no is to clear things out physically, like, you want to be good looking, then you got to stop wearing the clothes that are old, that are not fitting you anymore. If you want to earn, then you got to say no to say, uh, you got to say yes. If you want to save 100000 in the bank, then you got to say yes to saving. You got to say no to splurging, to impulsive buying. Say no to it. Okay, if you If you want to live a, a happier, healthier life, then you got to say yes to those things and say no to the people that are not helping you in that way. Stop hanging out with people who are always going out to parties, drinking, not working out because that's the only way that you can take care of yourself. You don't need to unblock them or you clear them out of your life. You just basically need to say no and say, you know, stop pleasing people and set your boundaries. Say no to that, okay? And the last one of how, of my tip of how to live intentionally is to take action. Like, you know what you want, so just go do it. Be curious for the next six months. Here's my challenge to you. Be curious. Like, what would you look like? And I want you to see that for yourself, not just imagine. Okay, I want you to see that for yourself. Like, what would you look like if you worked out for the next 100 days? What would you look like if you saved for the next 100 days? What would you look like if you start taking action one day at a time? Not asking you to change your life right now, like everything right now, but all I'm asking is to change it one day at a time. So maybe that's what you need to do. Take action every single moment of your life. Take back the power. Stop doing things that you don't know why, why you're doing it. Okay? Write down a to-do list and do them. Like, that's simple. If you want to live life intentionally on a daily basis, every day when you wake up, you write down the five major adventures that you want to go after and then go do them. And then later tonight, check off all those boxes. Living life intentionally is all about taking ownership. It's about you taking back the power. It's about you taking back the control. No more blaming. No more justifications. No more excuses. Everything in your life is made by you and created by you. And I hope that everything that we learned here will lead you to a fulfilling life and overall more better well-being and so if you have any questions ask me don't forget uh share this on your um instagram at alec cuenca don't forget to tag me i love the people that shares this who messages me um a lot of i'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, messages getting i'm um, saying that you help uh or i've been able to help you guys i appreciate that and thank you so much for sharing all the podcasts um more importantly guys I'm just doing this podcast so that everyone would get a reminder to take back the power that they have in their lives because we're all, we all deserve the life that we want, not the life that people say that we want. We need to choose what's important for us. And I hope that you take that power back. So I have a lot of opportunities. If you want to become part of my team well, where I will personally train and mentor you to, to become... Um, to take back that power, 
um, if you really want to try what it means to live life intentionally, come and join me, send me a message. I'm opening um, a, my team for 10 to 20 people who wants to be a part of my team of financial planners and coaches. Uh, so come and join us there. If you want, send me a message. Or um, yeah, maybe if you want to start with an idea, please support the podcast by also buying an ebook. You can check the link down below and or also the courses that you want. If you want to start into content creation and learn about these things, I am teaching that all in the courses below. Check that out. Again, thank you so much. My name is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations. It's with huge impact. Now exclusively on Spotify. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.